Hey everyone, and welcome on back to Decidedly Vanilla. Man, I'm really happy to be saying that. Recently, I just got back from vacation yesterday or the day before. I don't, I, yesterday, yesterday, there we go. That's what it is, I can count. Um, and I'm so happy I wanted to come back right away. And what's the sign here? But I wanted to come back right away, get right back into Minecraft and get playing on this stuff. And I've been having so much fun grinding up just a lot of wood here for projects that we're going to be going around and doing things like that. And I just wanted to just do some work, do some grind work before I started recording everything again. I think I'm at a point where I'm ready to go and record things. But anyways, I think I'll put a mountain here. Flip. Probably. No, come on, guys. That's not the right spot. The right spot for the mountain is right there, right there, and right there. This is not the mountain. Come on. Who put that there? Who... Not whip. Whip didn't say that, but free torches will always take free torches. Anyways, today I have an idea for what I want to do for a shop. I don't think we'll be able to build the shop today because it's been so long since I've been on the server that I haven't had time to get caught up on anything. So I'm really, really far behind. And all I've been doing since logging on is gathering trees and filling up this something or another. I don't know what you'd really call this. I guess this is our storage room for now. But I've been filling up this place. And I don't know what else to be doing with all this stuff here. So we got to start getting some building going on. Yes, we are moving over to the new textures, the new Joppa textures. We're going to be moving over to that just because I realize I've actually enjoyed them a lot. I love the little spruce or saplings, for example. Little saplings for everything are so cool. And I really wanted the crops and I wanted the leaves and the rest of it I can deal with. The rest of it is just like we'll deal with it as we go. Yes, even this, even that. Honestly, it grows on you guys, I swear, it grows on you. But anyways, what I wanted to do in today's episode is jump into the nether, head to Sea Haven, and see what we can find over there. I'm thinking it'll be really cool to go and check that guy out. We can go and explore and see how everything's going on there. I have no idea what's going to go through here. I haven't done any of this thing, but yeah, apparently Josie Puff, everything is after me. Whoa, what is this? What's that say? Lord of Undead has provided you with a nether tunnel. All right, well, uh, the Lord of the Undead, I think, is Zloy. I think that's his name. Is, do we want to go that way? No. Well, there's Whip. We got nice signs that lead to us. What do these things say? Mythical Sausage and Spawn. That way, Snix, Zloy, and Pixel Rifts are this way. Okay, well, let's go this way. All right, so there's Sausage. He's right down there. He's... Who is he right here? Is he really right there? No, that's me. And then sausage goes up here, and there's sausages. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so he's he's got his own little sign going on over there. This is actually really, really cool. He's done... Oh my gosh. Guys, I've missed a lot. Look at all the... Oh, I love that coal. With the new texture on it, the new coal texture looks really cool tiled. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I love all the detail, all the fence gates and everything up here. That's looking really awesome. Looks like he's still missing some carpets along here, but that's fine. And I'm seeing a lot of gas. Oh, no, that looks like intentional fire. So I think this is a way a Zloy works, is you have everything going down. I think this is the right way. Yeah, he always does those weird little bridges like that. That's looking like there was a battle going through here, or somebody got lazy and just decided to insta mine everything and kind of shake all over the place. But either way, I think this is our... Yep, I think the only three-wide portal is spawn portal. I think that's kind of the main way we can tell where we're going here, guys. But let's hope. We'll... We'll find out. Ooh. Ooh. This is definitely it. That's not good. That's not good for our plans later. But anyways, this right here is spawn. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to start building on all this stuff, guys. So the idea for spawn was actually to go with a Mediterranean style. I'd, I'd convinced everybody everybody about it. Uh, they were all on the fence with it. And then I was like, ooh, we got an end ship over there. That's pretty cool. And I was like, guys, look at this Look at this creative build I did. The Alanosis build. If you guys haven't seen that Greek one I did. I was like, all right, we could do something kind of similar style to this. Not quite, but similar. And everybody was like, sure, we're, we'll, we'll go with that. So that's how we ended up with this style. And I freaking love it. We got our normal spawn place right here where everybody spawned in at. Then they created a little area right here is there any, any goodies in the in these places we got some potatoes that are not cooked and that's about it it looks like but anyways i want to go with you guys and take a little bit of a tour around here because i haven't been here before i've lived on my island and i haven't done anything else so what do we got here we have that community cow and crop farm oh that's pretty cool you know i think nash crafter built this one i think that's right i think nash built this yeah i remember seeing a video from her a while ago seller to nether wart follow the path 
Ooh, there's nether wart and everything. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Look at it. Oh, it's over here. Wow, this is uh This is deep. That's a deep nether wart farm. Why is that all the way down here? That's a creeper we're getting out of here. Look at this. It's so cool looking. No, oh, that's that creeper saw me. We're we're leaving. Sorry, Nash, we don't want to mess up your farm. <laughs> you might want to get some more lighting down there if you can. But yeah, this is actually looking really, really cool. So we got the cows and everything on this side. That doesn't do anything. Okay, that's fine. And then we got the crops and everything on that side. Cool, that's awesome. That's a great little community farm right there. Then it looks like we got a little bit of a fountain over here with a sea pickle on top of it. That's looking pretty snazzy. What have we got here? What is this? Los Pollos Hermanos Yummy Chicken. I think I got the accent there, right? I don't know. Somebody correct me if I was wrong. What do we got here? We got Gus Fring and a lot of chickens behind him. I'm assuming this is a chicken shop. Payment chest, one stack of chicken is one diamond. That's pretty good for an auto chicken cooker. I'd be down with that. One stack of chicken, one diamond. It looks like people are taking those chickens more than those. I wonder what's up with them. And an ender chest. We don't have one of those yet. We got to get one of those guys set up here pretty soon. That would be very, very nice to have. Ooh. Okay. That's the observer block, right? I love that. Observer block for like a grill of a car on the front. Oh, that's awesome. Who built this one? Made by Jermsy Boy. Of course. Of course he did, Germ. What'd that other sign say? Coming soon, Dyensburg's Dye Lab. Okay. I like it. I can dig it. I can dig it. You know, guys, we probably should have come over here with some diamonds. Just thinking about that now, we probably should have come over here with some diamonds so we can at least do some stuff. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. What is this? How do you get... Can we do this? Okay. And then, bam. Oh, oh. Made it. Perfect. All right. So we got a prime elytra launcher up top. What do we got up here? Just some little storagey stuffs. And then down here, we got the... Welcome to the end is nigh. What are you looking for? Ends here. We got free pearls. I'm going to take a stack of those, guys. That sounds nice. You got a free, free tasting when you come in here. End loot. Pay what you want. 16 pearls for a mending iron pickaxe. No, I'm just kidding. We won't do that. <laughs> Buying gas tiers. Four for two diamonds. Ooh, that's actually a good way to do You know what? He's probably trying to make those end crystals. And he's going to sell them back for more. End rods. Two diamonds. A stack. Ooh, that's a good way to go. Pre-made shulker boxes, six diamonds each, mint, mint condition, fresh from the crafting table. We're coming back here, guys. Ooh. There's somebody up there. Okay, shulker shells, two for six diamonds. All right, we're coming back here for sure. We need a lot of these things. Elytras, 20 diamonds for an elytra. You know what, guys? I think we'll buy shulker boxes because I hate end rating, but we actually made it on this season, so if you kill the dragon, he drops an elytra. So I think we got it. Before we can get an elytra, we got to go kill the dragon. Miscellaneous purper, four for one diamond for ten stacks. Four stacks. Uh, purper blocks, one diamond for three stacks. Dragon's blood, one diamond for 16. End chest, one diamond for two. Obsidian, four diamond a stack. That I would pay for. And dragon heads, eight diamonds each. Cool. That's actually a really awesome shop. I love that he basically remade a little end ship here that's super awesome it's, it looks a little out of place for everything here but it is a community shopping area so it'll make do right and we can't use our elytra launcher because we do not have an elytra or his elytra launcher okay break our legs as we jump off that thing it'll be totally fine all right what do we got going on over here the sun is setting that's not a good sign but i want to go check out these last few little builds here what is this guy supposed to be that looks like a shop that is on its way to being Finish because it's kind of hard to get into here. What do we got here? Finished items to be cooked, fuel input. Oh, is this that community smelter? Yeah, this is a community smelter, I think. It looks like it. I don't know. We'll leave that one there. That's totally fine. It might be the community smelter. If not, it's just a smelter. We could borrow it. We'll borrow it for now. I don't know. Some of you might have to correct me. If you guys are watching other people's videos, let me know what that stuff is. The Prismarina. This is the shop. That makes me very sad. Dark Prismarine, sold out. Still sold out, man. Six diamonds per stack of sea lanterns. 30, three diamonds per 32. And we got one diamond for two stacks. We'll be coming and doing a lot of shopping at there 
because we can get ourselves a lot of diamonds and we actually have a good chunk of ink, so that's totally fine. But yeah, that'll probably be where we're buying a lot of our dark prismarine from to build our city up because we got to do a lot of that stuff, which means we need to have some decent supply of diamonds coming in so we can afford all that stuff because you guys know me, I need a lot of it. A lot of whatever resource I can get. We should go in through the front. That's not going through the side. There's a creeper hole. That's pretty sad. The enchanting villa. Oh, it's like a nice little community enchanting thing. Woogie's chest. Enchanting some string. Got it. So we got some nice bookshelves there and everything. We got Papa's chest. We got help yourself for a bunch of lapis. That's really cool. And we got Daphne's chest over here. She actually just recently joined the uh, joined the server. Uh, Daphne Elaine, I think her I think her name is. I have not gotten to talk to her very much because, as you guys know, I was out of town over in Hawaii. But yeah, very, very excited to be back. Looking forward a lot to all of this stuff going on here. We got a lot of stuff to do. And it's really cool running around the town. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, guys. I'm just kind of re-getting my feet on the ground with everything up here and running. And I hadn't been able to check out the town yet. So I figured you guys would want to see it as well as everything's getting going up here. Which, what is this thing supposed to be? It looks like this is not yet finished. But yeah, we need to go back to town or go back to our our base get some diamonds and come back and i think we want to buy some shulker boxes but before we do that what is this prismarine thing over here that says loy that says loy zloy's zloy's island okay he can have the island just kidding we're actually we need to get some diamonds in here so we can start buying supplies from people and i think we want to start i got two ideas for shops you guys will have to let me know what you want to see first i think i know which one i want to be doing first but i want to make for one Oh, we didn't even check out this place yet. Wow, how did I forget about that? What is this? Okay, one first shop, I wanna do like a wood shop. So I wanna be selling a lot of like full stacks of wood logs. I'm not, I'm kinda of stuck on the price right now. I was thinking two diamonds for a stack of logs. So like two diamonds for a stack of oak, two diamonds for a stack of spruce, etc. going all the way through, keeping a pretty consistent price across the whole thing. I think that could be kind of a good way of doing it all. This is super, super cool. Uh, actually three shop ideas one is kind of an exchange one uh, the exchange shop I want to set up a shop so where we can trade default materials that people might have excess of say I don't know maybe dirt or stone and we'll trade it for other things so say somebody needs like a lot of dirt or no we need a lot of dirt and somebody has a lot, needs a lot of stone we could sell them a lot of the stone that we have and trade it in for dirt I think that'd be kind of a cool exchange shop to be setting up so we can set up with like flint gravel, sand, etc. because you know we'll be using a lot of sand creating this place here. And people can just go mine up dirt and give us the best resource ever by giving us dirt. All right, anyways, what's this thing here? Mythical's market stall for rent. 10 diamonds for this little thing. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, Pix's green stuff coming soon. I owe you five diamonds. Huh, that's okay, cool. So Pixel just got a shop here. Coming soon, Nash's soon to be fork shop. What do we got up here? Uh, okay, forks, tridents, got it. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? Uh, Kane's claimed I owe you rent. He's got something going on here. Mr. Villager, what do you got? Toolsmith and Efficiency 2 Iron Shovel. I'll leave you there, buddy. And what do we got going on here? You you look like you have sausages face. Do you? Hey. Oh, he's trying to get the villager. Information desk. Okay, he's going to stay right there. <laughs> Perfect, got it. And I'm assuming this is Mythical Sausages shops up here. That's super cool. But anyways, my third shop idea that I have, guys, is one, we had the lumber shop that we talked about over there. Then down here, we're talking about that exchange shop just to keep myself on track. And the third shop idea I had was, I know I'm kind of stealing this one from Scar, but I'm a very firm believer in redstone is too scary to do anything with. So I was thinking about creating a redstone shop because I know a lot, we got a lot of redstoners on the server. That makes a funny sound when you jump on it. Oh, that's somebody opening and closing doors. Wow, I'm dumb. <laughs> but I want to create like a redstone shop where we can sell all of our redstone dust and everything like that because we never really use it. It always just sits there. And currently right now, we have five stacks of blocks of redstone. So I want to go ahead and start selling our redstone and selling all that stuff because the chance of us using it is very slim. I don't know why I'm going through his chest. Uh, build company rules and requests. Build company. Okay, he's making a building. What? There's a Mona Lisa? Wow, okay. I guess they redid the paintings for the new textures. All right, welcome to Sausages Party 
Corpse Build Division. We're a one-stop shop for your every building need. Fill in the following details to better assist you. Name, build request, material preference, build style, location, coordinates. I'll get back to you ASAP to coordinate the build. XOXO Sausage CEO and President. President and CEO. Whatever. Re wrong way. <laughs> Alright, I guess Sausage is, has a build corporation. I think we gotta show them one up on that one, guys. And I don't know. We might need to bring back our terraforming shop. But, you know, that'll be a fourth shop for us. And I think managing three is gonna be enough for now. So he's got all his corals and everything. Does he have a coral shop? You have a coral shop, don't you? This looks like it's not open yet. This is all like underwater goods. Okay, that, that man can... We'll just close that up. <laughs> Sausage, you might like to use brown concrete powder. BJ. Yeah, good idea, BJ. Good idea. Let's see, what's going on over here? Not much. Not much. This thing, I don't see a way out. We don't want to jump in there. But yeah, I think that sounds like a pretty good way of doing stuff. Uh, I want to get focused on those shops. Like I said, guys, we have the exchange shop, we have the lumber shop, and we have the redstone shop. So let me know what, in the comments below what you guys would like to be seeing first for which shops we'll be building. I want to be building up two of them probably pretty soon so we can start getting a decent supply of diamonds coming in so we can start buying other goods because I think I'm going to make it my goal for this season to never go end city raiding. I'll go kill the Ender Dragon, but I never want to go to an end city because I hate those things. So anyways, let me go ahead and jump back to over to our base here real quick, guys. I'll go get some diamonds. We'll come back and we'll buy up some shulker boxes. I, you know, guys, I figured while we're here, we have the Eye of Ender and we have the Obsidian. We might as well make an Ender Chest. We have our first ever Ender Chest now that we are... I don't even know how long we've been in the season for, but it's fine. And to make ourselves even jankier, it's sitting right there. <laughs> It's going to stay right there. But we got four sets of six diamonds. So we're going to be buying up four of those nice shulker boxes. All right, we're coming back to the end is nice shop. I still don't know who owns this one. But whoever it is, they're making a lot of money off me right now. They're going to be filthy, filthy rich. And I'm thinking because I want to do it just to keep everything even, we're going to do a light gray shulker box. We're going to do a gray shulker box. We're going to do a blue shulker box. And we are going to be doing a white shulker box. So we're going to do bam, 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 and bam. There we go. Paid in full. And now we have four shulker boxes. Oh, I am ready, guys. I'm ready to carry everything with me. We're good to go. We got to get enough shulker boxes eventually. And I missed. We got to get enough shulker boxes eventually to where we can have our entire ender chest full of shulker boxes and one extra shulker box that we can carry around with us with an ender chest inside of it. Basically the same way we rock in the single player world. And I think that is the perfect number of shulkers because you can carry everything you could possibly need ever with you. And it's amazing. So everybody's kind of building out in these areas. And I have an idea for what I want to be doing for a lumber shop, which I'm thinking we're going to plot out some land for first. But we can change it up to the other shops if you guys want to see one of those first. Let me know on that one for sure what you guys want to be seeing here. Then I'm thinking we probably want to go ahead and open up this bay here, seeing as nobody really is using this side of it. It's just this nice little water area. Like if we cut that all out and turn it into a little bit more of a, what is in here? Who lives in this thing? I don't even know. Uh, what do we got here? And blank sign. Perfect. Well, anyways, I'm thinking we go ahead and establish ourselves right in this little area so that whatever we come in here, because all the shops are starting to come out this way. We can kind of have that all forcing out through here. I know we're kind of on the end over here, but everybody's going to be going to that Prismarine shop. That is the only one on the server. And Awuga currently has the only uh, Guardian Temple out there. So, and then if we can do that and we can attract people over here with our logs and everything like that, ooh, I think that could be a really good spot to build everything up. So, I'm thinking we're going to be setting that guy up right here. It is a little far away from our end portal and things like that, but, or not the end portal, sorry, the nether portal. But yeah, I think this is probably going to be the best place for us. I don't know if Germ's going to keep this guy on here or not, but we're going to go ahead and do this right here. I'm thinking we're going to go ahead. I, if you guys can't tell, I want to do like a dock symbol or something on it. Or not a dock symbol, but like a small dock area. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and kind of clear out a little bit of a space like this. Get all of our good stuff in here and basically bring it around to... Let's, let's go with like right here here for starters and then we can bring it all the way back actually we probably want to do like 
all the way back here, seeing as we just destroyed all this stuff. So we can go ahead and do bam, 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 and bam. Perfect, just like that. And then get all these guys gathered up. And we can go ahead and probably, I'm thinking we probably are gonna wanna bring it out all the way over to here. So we can leave this one for the lumber shop if we're gonna build that guy first. If not, we can go ahead and find a new space for something else. But we're basically going to be bringing this whole thing out here just like this. And it's going to come all the way out to you. And then we'll bring it all the way over here. I want to do like a little dock area and then like a little kind of L-shaped type house almost. That we can go ahead and have everything inside of. So we'll have the little dock making it look like everything's coming in from there. Oh, that's going to blow. That's going to blow. That's going to blow. Don't blow up. Not here. Not here. Thank you, buddy. Cool. But yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be a great spot for us right there. Let's go ahead and knock this guy down here, claim it as our own, and that'll be a great way to end off this episode. Next episode, we'll build up whatever shop's going to be right here, but we can do, whoops, future shop location. And I put an extra space on that guy. All right, you guys let me know in the comments below what type of shop you want to see, the redstone shop, the lumber shop, or the trading shop. Let me, guys know, let me know down in the comments. But guys... As I mentioned, this is going to be more of a chill episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. And I will catch you on the flip side for some more building.